fucking killing machine. You know me. Yeah, so you're doing shitty. Okay, look at you. God, you're ugly. How do you function like that? Joe Warren, how do you function the way that you are? I mean, it's, it's How amazing. do I function? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're you're all go all day, all the time. You know, you never you never slow down. You never relax. I mean, you, you, you there's not a time I'm not around you, I, and I'm hyperactive. There's not a time that I'm around you that I get tired. Like, every single time I'm around you, I'm like, I'm exhausted. He's worn me out. Like, this is nuts. Yeah, you know, I've, I've got a lot of energy. Yeah, and you seem to be trying to put it in the right place now. I was uh, over at Robert Forrester's place. Um, oh, was, yeah, but I forgot that he told me. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, he's no, awesome, man. He's like the, he's like my secret weapon. I, um, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys that are going to him now. Jake Allenberry goes over there to him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, Juliana Pena. I think yep. Mark Quartz down there right now getting tested. More courts um, in my gym here. So yeah, I, said, I, I knew that connection. So I knew he's that. doing, yeah. Um, my, he never did any MMA. You know, Daryl Christian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daryl Christian, he was like my best, he's one of my best friends and would lived at the Olympic Training Center with yeah. me for like seven years or six years. So he introduced me to Bob before the 2012 Olympics mm -hmm. and I started meeting him a little bit. He coached the, um, the track team. I coached the wrestling team. So we're, we got to hang out in London together yep. and he started talking everything. Next thing you know, this is like three years ago. I've been locked down, man. And I've been like a guinea pig for this, uh, the scientist, scientific well, based training. I'm going to do this for rehab on my shoulder. You know, everyone knows I've had this bad shoulder. Kenny Mundy, you know, turned out in 1992, didn't have surgery until 94. And that's never really worked right. Well, I went to testing with, with Bobby and he was like, how did you ever fight? Like, how did you wrestle with this arm? I'm like, I just did it. I found a way around it. Yeah. He goes, you, this, this is going to get put into my, to my study because this arm doesn't work. You have like, like he said, literally you're at 20% capacity with your left arm. Like you have no ability to do anything with it at all, but yet you found a way to fight and continue to fight. So you were going into every fight. It's that it, mindset, wrestling mindset. Exactly. He goes, if, if you were hundred percent, hundred percent physical, like your body was a hundred percent ready to go, ready to, ready to rock and roll. You were, you periodized at the right time. You peaked the you right time. Were there. He goes hundred percent. You would only have about, you don't, you'd only be 80% because you're missing one of your limbs. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. So like he, he, he goes, took, hey, when's the last time, when's the last time you've been a hundred percent in a match or a wrestling never. match? So I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I've never went into a wrestling match without something messed up. My fingers, fingers broke, thumbs. my elbow, something like this. He's like, that's the main problem. And I'm like, uh, you know, so it ta it's a hard headed wrestler. It takes yeah. a lot to be able to change that in a, in a, uh, in an athlete. You gotta be a smart, a man, understand that it's science. You can't lie to science. It's my body. It's yeah. your body. It's a it, the whole time of being able to coach a whole team the same way is out of the out of door. Okay, not uh, none of us uh, heartbeats are the same. We're like it's funny when me and Scott train. Mm -hmm. We're all heart, you know heart rate monitors on a on a monitor, and my coach is going, Joe, you Scott's got to go three takedowns to one of your takedowns because. My heart was going to the point where I was going outside of my fat burning zone and he still wasn't even close. So he was having to go three techniques to every one of mine oh, because wow. we're so different. You know what I mean? It's um for me it's it's frustrating even now because even now when I'm working out, you know, I have no I have nothing in mind other than just I like to work out still. I don't have a goal, I don't have I don't have anything I'm trying to get ready for. It's like he's like, you gotta spend six to eight weeks like going at like like two, you know, two or three hours, three times a, a week. And you're like going what? At, going like at 125 beats per minute. 125 beats per minute. My warm up is 150 beats per we minute. We can talk about this. I mean, when I started, I'd call him. I'd say, I can't do this. There's no possible way I could do this. You know, I'm not training at all. So, um, what he, he would make me and Scott do is put headphones in and talk to you on the phone while I was running. So I would have to be able to have a conversation with you and still run. That would keep my heart rate at that fat burning zone. Yeah. And uh, dude, I'm so in shape now. It's if I had this bad, I won back in the day. If I had this back then. I would well, have been unstoppable. unstoppable. Here, here's the thing that that I started talking about with my with my partner Willard uh, Ford at our at our gym, Strong Sports down downtown LA. That we started looking at like okay, wrestling using wrestling as the as the example. Wrestling in high school is all about rising to the top. The best guys are gonna rise to the top. Wrestling in college, same thing. It's that it's that throw mm -hmm. it at the wall, throw everything at the athlete, see which ones are the best ones. Come come wrestle off time, come do it to them. So cool. It's always, always banging out. But then we go international, we go overseas, and we'd be battling these Russians and battling these Chinese and battling these, these, these Turkmenistan guys. And all of a sudden we're like, I've never even seen this guy. And you talk to him like, oh yeah, we, we wrestle oh, yeah. live maybe, 
maybe twice a month we have live matches and then we're doing everything else is all technique. And, and we do like 50 a day. Yeah. It's like, I'll tell, tell this story, funny story, uh, Bob at the Olympics, you know, uh, you asked him this story. So, so it's, uh, one side is the U S wrestling team. The other side is the Russian wrestling team. <laughs> okay. And he's watching it and brands is just crushing his guys. Okay. Like, they're in full grind matches, you know, like yeah. just to, to maybe get ready for their matches coming. You know how we used to yeah. do it. You'd have to have a practice match to get ready. Yeah. And he uh, he was showing videotaping how the uh, the Russian team was was pummeling with a soccer ball going around the room. So they were passing the soccer ball around, just pump. they're in fat burning yeah. zones, chilling. And then they're they're they they're a hundred percent when they go when when they go into competition and and how do you how do you stop that so so that's why I talk to these you know these fighters you know and that's yeah. why Mark Montoya my coach yeah. he has been uh, the man he I mean him and Bob every single day I have no idea what I'm doing for practice ever nothing they they email me a heart rate I go to practice it's set up already yeah, they're striking at the heart rate the run at the heart rate the ground and pound at the heart rate I'm done in an hour. Okay, I'm out of there an hour and, and five minutes a that's day. That's the other thing he was telling me is that he's got you going like seven hours. Seven hours a week. That's it. Dude, and I'm looking at him like seven hours a week. That's two days. Like I'm we two days. I'm seven that. hours sometimes in a day, running in the mornings, practicing in the yeah. afternoon, one at night, and that's the problem. But look, it. I'm 38. I have nothing wrong with me right now. You know, I'm explosive and fast. I weighed out seven pounds over today. What the hell? Yeah, and I am I'm eating full meals. I haven't even stopped. My wife's in there right now cooking. And it's been Bob says because it's been three years. And even on off season, you know, I you do his run. It's yeah. nothing. You go for a forty five minute jog and on vacation, who cares? You know? Yeah. And that's it. It just maintains, maintains. My bases are built so hard that you know, like, I, I mean, my recovery time in the cage is ridiculous. You know, within 15 seconds, my heart rate drops by 35 beats. You said Nate Markowitz in your, in your gym. Yep. You talk about heart rates. That guy doesn't slow down. He, he's as bad as you are outside the cage. He's as inside yeah, the real, cage. He's well, like you. It's like reverse. Yeah. Like inside the cage, you're counting down now. You're getting slower. He's like that outside the cage, inside the cage. That guy cannot stop working. How right. difficult is it to get Nate to go to understand, like, look, you got to. Buddy, it's it's okay. It's okay not to go live today. It's okay so he not call, to go nuts. Calls me, he's like, I can't do this, and I'm, like, I just start <laughs> laughing. Up. You know how many people call me and say that after we start this? Everyone, okay? There's no way I can do this. He's telling me, Bob's telling me I can't spar for six weeks, and I'm like, I don't spar ever. I was like, I never get hit in the face unless I'm in that cage for money, okay? Like. I'm old. Uh, there's no way this head's getting hit anymore. You know, we talked about this. Yeah. That was the that was the one thing you told me. Yeah. Don't let the head get hit anymore. Yeah, and I've been it's too yeah. much. And yeah. I was just saying from from and a brain so trauma standpoint. Mark Court's understanding it, it's hard for him because, and I believe the science based training that Bob's bringing is great for older athletes, old, yeah. older champs, guys that were really good before and they're getting a little older. They can't you know get busy anymore. They you know yeah. they're having a hard time. Okay, so this turns it around. So it show it it gained my head. I mean, I gained so much confidence because of my conditioning and how I don't get tired and I can bring it back and I know I'm ready. So it's you know I just got to go well, perform now. But now there's that question of can you finish? Like can you finish a guy? That's that's the question that comes out of this. Is like you're backing yeah. off, you're going down. You look at your record. You've only got three KOs, one submission. The rest of your fights are decisions. You outwork yeah, so everybody. But can you finish, guys? And that's that's the thing that people want to see. And for you to like make the uh, next level of being that champ that everybody wants to buy their that's t-shirts where I and think sell I'm the at, yeah. Are you gonna be able to finish Galvao? Yeah, when you, when you I'm, that's where I'm at now with my technique. I believe I have so much offensive technique that I'm not held back yet from being uh, not understanding what's going to happen to me in that cage. Okay. I'm open minded to my offensive technique. Things are just coming out. I'm finishing people. I don't even know, you know. So I don't have to think about it now. It's reaction. And that wasn't the case before. You know, both you guys are, fin are, are decision guys. You're not finishers. I mean, and his, he's 16 and 6. He, only, he has four KOs and 12 decisions. So you guys are guys that go the distance. Shit about him. I'll be so, finishing his ass in that Bellator cage real soon, and you'll see that. So you know, this never, is the next I've, question, then. You guys are fighting down here in, in, uh, on March 27th, down in Thackerville, Oklahoma, not too far from Denver. So it's not like it's a big, long trek. It's wrestling country. It's only one time zone over from Mountain to get to Central. So, you know, it's, it's in America. It's not going to be this big, you know... You, you know, you have to travel some, eat some weird food in some strange foreign country. But then you have to come to the question, as the main event, last fire of the night, 
the big the big piece on Spike TV. When does Joe Warren finish Galvao? Like, when is this fight going to be done? Yeah, I would. Uh, personally, I, I want to finish this fight as fast as possible. I, I believe I have all the skills, so I'm going to come out there and try to finish it. I'm going to try to impress myself, you know, bottom line. If I can impress myself, that means things are landing and I'm finishing. You know me. Uh, I, I would like to do that, and that's how I believe it's going to happen. But let's be realistic, you know. If it's a five round fight, I'm completely open for that. I mean, I'm you know me, I'm open minded to, for that grind. I've been in every battle that any man my age could ever be in, and I've won it. So the bottom line is, if he needs to go to that deep water, I'll do it. I'm going to try to finish. You know, I have enough conditioning and enough, uh, you know, behind me where I can go and push that pace, recover, and keep pushing. And I don't think anybody in the world can recover like I can. You were talking about how now we're, we're in the middle of a go like in the middle of a live round that where you just have a hard, a hard, you know, fights are like messing matches. You've got this hard piece and everyone kind of takes a break. And there's a hard piece and everyone takes a break. And it's kind of like you find your places to rest that when you're resting, you're completely resting. You're not burning out. You're not trying to dump out ATPs. You're not trying to burn. No, out. I'm, I'm breathing. I'm doing the breathing that Bob teaches yeah. me, the inhaling uh, everything through my nose and inhaling my belly and breathing out through my mouth and lungs, you know, and that, that brings the heart rate down. We work this every day. You know, uh, the five rounds, the five minutes done. I'm on a, I'm on a uh, stool, and there, and no, no one I'm talks. I'm talking, I'm talking actually in the round, like yeah. during the live round. In the go, round, we do this all. So this is, out how to, this is how you find out how to slow down. Like this is one of the things yeah. that you you had. Uh, I think I want to say against not Dantes, but against um, Silva. That you all of a sudden in the middle of the round, there's like a, you went through a hard go. There's like a, I forget when it was, but there's like a, a hard position. You, you had like a scramble, Stop. and you stopped and slowed down. And like 15 seconds into it, you're ready to go for the next for the next scramble. And yeah, he, you're right. I and mean, he panicked. Yeah. He all of a sudden didn't have the energy, and you went to go again. You're like he was like I can't. And that's that's exactly what this stuff's doing. And I'm in the cage, and I'll hear Mark say, "Your heart rate's too high." So what happens is I'll back away from action. I move my head right and left three times and roll. I usually get four breaths out of that, and my heart rate here telling me if it starts dropping right away. So I know in the cage, okay. it's been enough time where I know where my heart rate is too elevated, where I know I need to refocus, I call it. Refocus. Okay. So I back up. My head's moving. My hands are up. My head's moving, and I'm back to attacking again. And I just don't know how he's going to be able to... Uh, you know, but isn't that what we did anyway when we were wrestling? We beat everybody up. Like the Russians were always better technical than we were. Yeah. They were always everyone was always a better technician than we were. But we go out there and out work them and out hustle them and they fall apart. And we do yep. it over and you know the, the prime yep. example is looking at like an old guy like Sammy Henson. He just beat the crap out of everybody. They couldn't handle it. They just couldn't yeah, handle exactly. It. But that's Americans. That's us. That's how I won. So it, how is this different? In the future, it's going to be you know us, uh, 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 not that guy like us that were 70% going into those world championship matches. We're going to have a guy a hundred percent rested confident because you're so, you know, rested, nothing hurts, nothing, you know, my weight's light, you know, I, I need to worry about something. I'm not sure what to worry about right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I usually find, yeah. I'm looking for something right now to worry about. Oh, I don't want to do this. So I got a college degree. Fuck this, you yeah. know, but now it's like, Dude, what am I running from? You know, I'm I've been doing this for five years. It's I'm good at it now. You know, I finally just, you know, and now I have this scientific base behind me. It's, I mean, so but last time we talked, you were like, hey, you know, we'll see what happens. We we'll kind of see how things go. Maybe I'll be in it for a while longer. Maybe I won't. We we'll kind of you know got some ideas. And now all of a sudden you're like, I I'm 38. I'm not hurt. I'm feeling good. I'm fighting in two weeks. What the hell? I'll, I'll do this for another 10 years. I just can't offset the money. As soon as I can offset the cash, I'm out of that cage, bro. Okay? As soon as Spike says, here's 200 Gs, Joe. Let's do this. And I'm going to say, see you later. Here's my gloves. Yeah, you know, I'll leave yeah. them in that cage tonight. You know, remember, I do this for a job. You know, not, not you know, I take care of this family doing that. Yeah. If I can do it a different way, <laughs> come on, we've talked, you oh, know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it, uh, but but, not, but I'm you, just saying I'm, I'm I'm to a point right now five years in where things are happening and this I can I remember this feeling in wrestling yeah in, in Greco when I wasn't winning and I was fighting my ass off to try to win and then oh shit this works this works oh 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 my god you know and that's when my head blows up you don't want my head any bigger than it is you know I mean it's, not. it's your ego no. is large enough for four families no so so I'm just saying people are in some very serious trouble now that I actually don't give I actually want to fight are we uh are we gonna see you in uh in uh Vegas for the for the open and then again for obviously we see you for the worlds right 
Yeah, well, yeah, for the worlds, I mean, I I, I want to get to all that stuff, man. Okay. I, I feel terrible that I'm not doing that wrestling stuff. It's just I'm fighting. You know, yeah. I got to be ready for these fights. I was, I'm was i supposed to go out this weekend and uh, roll Randy. Oh, Rose, yeah, yeah. I was so upset because that would have been great, man. I, you know, I love Randy. So, like. How come you didn't, how come you didn't make this? I mean, it was only one day. You couldn't, just because of training, you couldn't take it, off? Travel gets me sometimes. Even those yeah. short, you know, it takes three to two days for me to be 100% again. And uh, this is too important for me to mess around. And, and you know, uh, we loved NCAAs, man. Yeah, I mean, it's a perfect I mean, time to be in St. Louis. Next year at uh, Madison Square Garden, right? Yeah, So I that's going to be awesome, you know. And uh, so I'm excited to, you know, I, I, I'm excited to, uh, after fighting, you know, to be able to teach my son to be able <laughs> and not be in the gym training myself, yeah. to come home and just go to sleep because I'm dead tired. and You yeah. know, little stuff like that. But, you know, mentally and physically, we're all good. Good for you, Joe. Man, this is going to be. It's great to see it kind of like this and kind of see how this stuff is working. I'm brand new with 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 Rob. Right? Like I said, I'm only doing my rehab with him right now for my shoulder. Once we get through that six week cycle, then what I'm about the add a day rollers? Testing. Say again. What about the add a day rollers? Have you seen I, all the rollers? I haven't used them. The, some of the guys oh, in the gym have. I haven't I'm, used that's, them. That's I'm part of that company with them. Okay. All all the stick rollers and those you know. Well, the, then I should have a set at the house. Then why don't I? That there's no reason. Just tell Bob. You, you see him more than me. Oh yeah, no. Bob, Bob, will, Bob will tell me, and then he'll give me the bill. <laughs> I tell Joe, so there's no bill. Yeah. So <laughs> tell him you need it in your gym. Period. So okay. they're said, send you. That's it. He'll give it to you. No problem. Yeah, I'm gonna start squeezing them now because because you're the partner in it. Yeah, you better be. You know, fifteen percent. Come on. Which means I'm definitely not buying them. If you get fifty percent of that money, I'm definitely not buying. Not buying. Them. <laughs> I'm not supporting you. We're, we're, we're make sure Bob gets it to you. I will for sure. So Our, what's uh, uh, food's good, uh, weight's good, training is good. You your game plan is obviously solid for this because I know I know how Mark puts shit together for you, for this fight. You're trying to find something to worry about. Where if if you had to worry about something that it's taxes right now. Taxes. My taxes and it's stressing me the fuck out, man. Taxes stress you out? Well, you don't want to pay them? Yeah, stress? I know. I, I feel like I have money and then I have none, and then I have to, and then I go. I'm never getting back in the cage again, broke as hell at home, so that yeah, I have to put my family through this, and it's a lot of stress. You know how it goes, shit. And now we're back here again, and uh, I'm fighting again in March, and I'm going, shit, I hate taxes. You know, like, yeah. so that's the sketchy thing that gets me stressed out as a so cat. The whole, so the whole, this whole paycheck's going to pay off your taxes and your accountant and your, and your tax attorney? Pretty no. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah more, than, more than a third. Because you got to pay. It's gonna be. It's a mess. If you don't understand, how I write a bunch of. I mean, everything I'm doing, I, everything's paid through my. You know, my yeah. baddest man, my LLC, the baddest man LLC. I run everything through that. So my accountant's got me in. You know, yeah. I'm supposed to. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but right. it still sucks when you have to write that check. Well, it's still. You know, it's it's. Uh, people don't understand that essentially athletes are entertainers. So we get paid like movie stars. We get paid like exactly like, ten ninety nine. I mean, it's it's fifty percent of whatever you make is out the door to taxes. That's just how it works. So fifty percent yeah. of what you get is either going to go to taxes your managers, your accountants, your training partners. So it's like, oh, this guy made a million dollars. Not really. He made 500000 and then you know, got to pay taxes on that 500000 So it's not no, it's exactly, skewed. Exactly. You know, I always thought that once I get over the 100000 mark, like <laughs> you know, per fight, you know, when I win, like I'm at now, like, oh, then that's going to be money. But then now it's, you know, the more money you make, the more things you have, the more yes. stuff you have, the more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's the same thing as when you had no money in college. You had yeah. the same shit. Except now you have to keep your wife in the life she's accustomed to when she was working full time. No, no, yeah. Well, she was working full time, so she can have anything she wants. Because for those nine years, she took care of my ass. So, uh, and she's got to take care of my ass now. So I was I mean, say, yeah, it's she's not a very smooth ass. job. Put it that way. Yeah. I'm not the sanest person on the block. You know, not? no, that's what they tell me. But I mean, have you have you have you gone in and and had just had a psychological evaluation done lately? Yeah, I I actually turned it around on them. And wrote them a evaluation and, and, and emailed them it. So <laughs> good so for you. Yeah. <laughs> you're not putting me down. I'm Joe Warren. You're not putting me down. I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. So uh, all right, man. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go eat. Yep. Thanks. Uh, sorry for all the back and forth. You know, yeah. I'm here for you all the time, bud. Yeah, no worries. No worries, man. Have a great night. Uh, talk. It's good to see you and talk to Bob about those added day rollers. I will for sure. All right, buddy. Good to hear from you. You too, man. Later. Later.